Hello, LinkedIn community and YouTube. My name is Sofia Marin. I'm a cyber security enthusiast and a security analyst for the Cyber Defense Operations Center at Microsoft. Today's video, we're going to review chapter number three of our Red Team series dedicated to token manipulation. Today, we're going to actually be going through investigations. For this demo, we will be using one of the GitHub repositories of what I've designed. He has created on GitHub over here. It's to uh, decipher unified audit law. So I want to be make sure that today's demonstration is focused on the email compromise piece, right? So in the business email compromise situation. Um, in the fourth session, we will recap in regarding to the Azure. Therefore, when we are doing a, biz a business email compromise, we're going to be using most of it, the Security Center for Office, Office for Defender, of course, the UAL, Unified Audit Logs. And with that being said, I want to also quote an excellent article from Kijo the Girardi regarding exactly adversary in the middle techniques and business email compromise. So let's begin. I want to make sure, right, that you consider this demo it's using an E5 license user with EMS extension for security. So let's think you are in your uh, daily sub analyst, you have identified a uh, signing that was in a risk, but it had been a long ago, right, more than a month. So we don't have a backup of those logs to go and determine uh, where they have been logging. And what you actually found now is that users start reporting they have received an email, right? And this is the email that we have been talking, right? And if you have seen chapter four, if not, you can go back. I will uh, put it also in the description and in the little box attached. Is that in chapter two, we use MG Graph to send this email in which had this link. So let's say that we had enabled the funder for office. So if somebody tried to hit on the link, safe links will say, hey, this is not a uh, reputation. We cannot load this, right? So you're OK. We know there's a malicious link. What has going on? Now, there are a couple of ways. One, um, it's using the connection of the vendor. Let me get here. I'm sorry, not the vendor, but exchange online and collecting manually the unified. So here is the command. So I just connected. And I did a search of the Unified audit logs and I searched for the user that we know send the emails and within a time range, right? You can send it on a CSV file format or later here I also show a TXT. So here, what occurs is that it looks like this. This is one of the reasons I recommend using um, uh, what I have this besides heat hop is that it's going to help you decipher some of the operations. One of the ones he quotes is the one that we're seeing here, right? That we are adding a member to a role group, meaning we are giving somewhat privilege to someone else. So this is not nice. As you can see, it's a little bit hectic to read and I want to definitely cover. So over here, it's going to say the creation time over here, the object ID. So meaning that is the recipient management group and also the user ID who added it and the methodology, right? The app ID. So we're calling the methodology, the app ID right here. Now we can also see this um, using a CSV file or a TXT. Uh, one of the reasons uh, you can use it as wherever you prefer I want to demonstrate something that is very important while working the Unified Audit Logs is understanding the record type. So as you could see here, the record type here is exchange and minutes exchange actions, whether the other record type on the TXT is an Azure Active Directory. And what we're seeing is add member to role and meaning that the, the user, right, Sophia, has added into which role into the billing at me. Now, one of the really cool things of the Unified audit logs is that it's going to merge both office actions, let's say mail items, 
share code links, jam everything, and Azure Active Directory all in one place. So even if we go one second here to the portal, just to show, if we go into the audit logs, which is a lot of clicking, you could see here that same thing, right? Um, the billing admins and the role outside PIMP and the modified properties. So, and basically the targets that it was requested and that it was a group and we gave this permission to a group. So it is important to start working with it and start one of the things that, of course, you have to understand what using the Unified Audit Logs, it's how to read it. So what we're going to call the target and the role and the different objects. So you will have to do a manual cross-reference uh, in order to find out. So as you could see here, and here is the group ID. And if you come over here and it says, you know, uh, new value, old value, new value, old value. And here it's where we could see, okay, it was a group and it was uh, Albus Army that was given to that group, this permission. Now, when you're doing any investigation, of course, going to the logs is a lot of manual effort. How can we do this better? It's the $1 million question. So there's going to be different technologies that can assist us through this. Um, most of them can be found on the security portal. So I want to show one moment part of this. So one of the cool things is that if you have um, Microsoft 365 Defender and MCAS in the cloud apps, you can see them. So one example, of course, this is going back to Exchange Online. So here we can see the create items. So once we open one of those create items, for example, we could see the name of that mail item, basically the email we have been seeing here. Uh, the had the spam link. We go back one second over here. We could see that it's a tremendous amount of activities so related to Exchange Online. We could add filters, right? And we could see here the user ID and over here in the activity, we could see, of course, the name of the target, the account, and we could start adding to the filter. So this is going to be the identifier for the same account. So if we do the add to this filter, And it's going to take a little bit, but you can see how this can play a huge role in order to send is scoping uh, what we have available. Now, there are plenty other actions that you can choose from as example, admin activities. It's going to take a second. And in admin activities, all those Azure Active Directory can be also found here in a centralized place as well from the unified log. So remember what we were um, reviewing. Let's make me go one more page. Of course, you can add um, filters on timestamps. I know that I don't have that much activity. And over here on the 12, what we were referring to the different roles. So this is not the same example. Uh, but here we could see, yeah, this is the same example we were looking at. We could see the billing admin being added to whom? To the Albus Dumbledore, same thing we had in Azure Active Directory. Okay. We have seen this, of course, all the clicking. And uh, there are a lot of queries that are um, pre-default that you can review. Now, the cool thing, going back to uh, Kijio's article, is that all of this can be used by custom. So if we go into the advanced hunting I already had created from an idea from what he had already provided um, regarding the application. So cloud events, you can choose the application you're working and go from there. So this query, basically, it's an inspiration from his query. What I'm just adding is that because we're focusing on uh, business emails, just taking out the subject and the message ID. So it's easier for you to identify that we're talking about that same message. So we have already here the, the results. One second. Let me make this bigger. I don't know what. Actually, I'm going to 
Let's just make this the sense because I know that the create will duplicate it. Okay, so we're going to open it here and uh, right here we could see the send items, um, that email message. Of course, this email message was parsed out of the raw events so it's easier for us to read uh this is actually the raw events if you want to take a look that is exchanged that it succeeded um the mailbox owner the mailbox here it's the item the subject and also the folder path that came out from drafts so once again how uh microsoft helps in order to do a full deep dive investigation using tools such as Defender for Office, which was able to catch right, that malicious email. Also, Cloud App Security, because Cloud App Security, if you have seen other videos, you can create uh, policies and alerts from whatever activity. And also using the risky user detection from identity protection in Entra ID. And just before I go, I want to cover back um, the article I was recommending. This article also have part of what we have the email attachment and clicking into URLs, right? Um, in this case, because I already turned on Defender for Office, uh, there was no click on the message. But you could use the same query or even from this same part, if you come over here and email and collaborations, you can see under in the Explorer, there is going to be all different tool sets that you can utilize. As example, the malware phishing. So if I come over here and we were working on the time, let's go from the 11 to the 14. Gonna refresh this, and we could see here the peak um, of block emails. This is just by the time I uh, turn on the vendor for for office, and we go down here. There is gonna be multiple emails giving. Here are the emails that we were talking about. So if you would come over here, this can help you to view the headers take actions, to move to another, to submit it, to do an investigation. So let's just cancel out of here. It's going to have the message ID that you wanted it. And most important, the URLs, right? And if there was any attachment. So if you want to submit a sample for it, put it as fish, it's going to be super good. Same thing with URL clicks. If any of the users had click on it, top URLs click. In this case, all of them were blocked by the vendor for office. That's why it did not occur. So I highly recommend to use this tool. And I hope this demo help. In the next video of this same series, we're going to cover once an email has a malicious attachment and how it was able to cut it. And also how to build some KQL queries alongside for Azure Active Directory activities using Cloud App Securities. So hope you stay tuned, like and subscribe if you'd like to see more content related to cybersecurity awareness. Bye-bye.